Hi everyone, welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. Kitty has been playing. She, I can't believe she's playing this late. Okay, on a prayer request, uh, Lena from Red Road Homesteads having trouble with her heart. Pray the doctor can help her. Um, she goes today, August 4th, and she has congestive heart failure. Lena, let us know how you did uh, so I can get an update on you, how everything went. And Crystal from Crystal's Pets and Plant Father. Her father has the Delta virus. Pray he'll be okay. And Crystal, let us know how your uh, dad's doing now. We're hoping he's doing better. And her friend from church is in his mid-80s and had cancer. Pray for him. Um, Diane's sister-in-law is in a rehabilitation center now to get her strength back. Is she still there, uh, Diane? Is she having to stay there for a long time? Could you let, let us know how she's doing? And Loretta's front friend, Melissa, was in a bad car accident. She has a broken neck and arm. Pray she gets better. Yeah, Loretta, that's, it's been several days. Is she still in the hospital? We hope not. Uh, let us know how uh, she's doing. Uh, Nancy Simmons' husband, Rich, has C. diff. Pray he gets better. Uh, Jackie Howard's husband, Jamie, needs more work. He's feeling very discouraged. Kim's dad was able to walk without help, so he got to go home. Kim says thanks so much for the prayers. Gladys Pellegrino, pray for her to have strength to get out of bed somehow before October and get a wide wheelchair. Kim's friend Kevin was in the hospital for a tick bite. He's home now, but very weak, praying, pray for healing. Beth's niece is home, but still has an infection. Her baby is still in the hospital. Pray her infection goes away and the baby gets to come home. Libby's sister has cancer. Pray she will be healed. Connie's Aunt Bonnie passed away. Pray for Connie and the family. Tweets has an unspoken request. And pray for Colleen's, Colleen's oldest daughter and four people with COVID she's taking care of at an Alzheimer's unit. And Colleen's middle daughter needs prayer in her finances. Pray God will guide her. All right, our, our scripture today comes from Isaiah 49, 14 through 18. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Your children hasten back, and those who laid you, and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your children gather and come to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them all as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride. Okay. Um, our devotion today is entitled "Not Forgotten." And Uncle Arthur, do you remember the day you took me to the barber shop in the supermarket? I was wearing tan khakis, a blue plaid Oxford shirt, a navy blue cardigan, brown socks, and brown rock fort shoes. The date was Thursday, October 20, 2016. My nephew Jared's autism related challenges are offset by his phenomenal memory that can recall details like days and dates and the clothes he was wearing years after an event took place. Because of the way he's wired, Jared possesses the kind of memory that reminds me of the all-knowing, loving God, the keeper of time and eternity. He knows the facts and won't forget his promises or his people. Have you had moments when you've questioned whether or not you've been forgotten by God? 
When others appear to be healthier or happier or more successful or otherwise better off, ancient Israel's less than ideal situation caused her to say, The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. But that wasn't the case. God's compassion and care exceeded the natural bonds of affection that mothers have for their children. Before embracing labels like forsaken or forgotten, things that Think again of what God has done in and through His Son, Jesus. In the gospel that brings forgiveness, God has clearly said, I will not forget you. When have you felt alone, forsaken, and forgotten by God? How does processing the love of God expressed by sending Jesus to die for your sins help to counter feelings of being forgotten by Him? Father, when I'm tempted to feel neglected, forgotten, and abandoned, help me to ponder again the love you've demonstrated by sending Jesus to die for me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. Please press that like button subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out everybody i hope you have a great morning and i will see you later on on morning coffee break bye everyone and god bless